Hey guys. Hey guys, this is Samantha from Resin Fanatics. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing something really different. I'm going to be showing you how to use my the new X-Tool M1 desktop laser. This is a diode laser. Um, here are just a few things that I've made. It's super user friendly. I've had it for about a week and I've made all kinds of things. Um, it does multiple things. It lasers and it engraves on hundreds of different materials. Um, it also has a rotary where you can um, engrave on cups and it also does everything that your Cricut or your Silhouette does. It comes with a blade. So it's like a four in one machine. It does everything. Um, it's a very affordable laser. Um, it's about, it's 10 Watts, but just for the laser alone, they're having a huge black Friday sale. It's like $809. And then they have different packages that come with things you need, like the air assist. I highly recommend. Um, what that does is when you're cutting, when you're cutting, it blows air and it removes the debris in the way and you get a better cut. Um, and then this is the exhaust, goes through the window. My husband built me a board here. Um, they do sell a separate part that is um, an air cleaner that goes in your room that's a little box. I think it's like $600. I don't know, I'm good with this exhaust for now. I also ordered the honeycomb riser, which I haven't put on yet, but right now I'm in a very small space. So I'm trying, like I said, to get everything in the frame. And then I'm actually going to do the computer program with you and cut some stuff and show you how to cut. So right now, this is what it looks like. And these are called prisms. And this is what you're going to do when you cut, is you're gonna lay these down and put your wood on top. The, the honeycomb is a little different. You don't need the risers, I can't wait to use that. I tried to get my daughter to help me filming, but we could never just get it right. So I'm using basswood from X Tool. It's like a 12 by 12 sheet. I'm gonna put that in there. Close it up. There is a camera. Once I connect to my iPad here. I just wanna show you the camera part and then I'm actually going to use the software but I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna do voiceover so that you could actually see what I'm doing. There you go. So you can see the area that you're working on and bring everything onto the board. So the next part, I'm going to take you and I'm going to design an earring. And then I'm going to bring some files in that I bought on Etsy and then we're going to cut them together. So I will see you shortly. Bye-bye. So I am going to load the XCS or the X Tool Creative Space. Bear with me. This is the first time I've done a voice order over and this is the first time I've done it with a computer program. So I'm gonna pull up a shape. I like this little teardrop one here. And then I'm gonna move it and spin it to the point where the point is up. And then I'm gonna zoom in so we can see a little better. And I'm gonna select it, I wanna unlock it, and I wanna hit one and a half by one and a half. There's charts you can look up um, for earring sizes. This is just the size that works best for me. 
and then I want to select the shape and then hit outline and then hit OK and then I have my outline. Then I want to highlight the whole thing and then I want to combine, combine subtract at overlap and that's going to give me that one shape together. So once I got that shape together, I'm going to go up and pull a circle out. And then I'm going to unlock it. And I want to change that circle to 0 0.2 on both sides for the width and the height. And then I'm going to take that circle, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to change the second one to 0 0.1 by 0 0.1. Now remember, everybody has a different way of doing this. This is just the way I, I learned by playing around. So I'm gonna zoom in a little more. I'm gonna take that circle, put it in the middle, and I'm gonna make a mistake right here. Not a big one. But I'm gonna highlight it, and I'm gonna arrange a line center, and that was the wrong one. So I'm gonna highlight it again. Whoops, not all of them, just that one. And then I'm going to align vertical align center and that puts it right in the center the circle and the center of the circle. So now you want to highlight your circles. And then you want to go to combine. And you want to subtract and that is going to put them together just like the teardrop. Then we want to place it up at the top. And then if you highlight it and then you horizontal align center, it'll center it up for you. And then if you control and use your up and down keys, you could just move it a tiny bit. So then I'm going to select it again and I'm gonna unite it. And that gives me my perfect teardrop with, my, with the perfect little hole. If you guys work with Silhouette, Cricut, you're gonna be really good at this because this is what you do all the time. So now I'm going to import an image and I'm going to import some fall leaves and they're going to be massive. So I'm going to zoom out. I actually got this file for the leaves on Etsy. I'm creating the earring myself, but not the leaves. So I'm going to delete the ones that I don't want. I'm just keeping the two maple leaves. So I'm just deleting everything that's extra. I'm gonna pull my maple leaves over to my teardrop or my earring outline. And then I'm going to fit my leaf inside of the earring. I'm gonna unlock it just so that I can work with it a little bit you want the points to sit right on the edge of the earring, but not to go over it. So now you're just going to see me play around with it a little bit until I get it where I want it. Okay, so now I got the leaf where I want it. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the size of the leaf. I got about width 1.124 and the height at 1.053. And what I want to do is take the other maple leaf and I'm gonna make it the same height and the same width as the first leaf. So if you just click on the first leaf, you can see there, the size and then I want to click on the second I want to unlock it and then change it to the size of the first leaf I had to go back and look at it again my memory is bad and then lock it and then it should match up perfectly 
So now I'm gonna move it back over to the side. I'm gonna select my earring with the first leaf and I'm gonna combine and then I'm gonna unite it. And there you go, you have the outline for the earring. So now if you copy it, the first earring, you're gonna do copy and then you're gonna do paste. You're gonna get your second earring. Everything will be the same size. And then I wanna copy and paste my leaf. And there's your second set. But now we're gonna highlight them. And you wanna reflect horizontally because they should be facing the other way. So you have two sets of earrings, one for the left ear and one for the right ear. Now I'm gonna set my earrings to cut and I want my leaves to score. And then you're gonna move your score part, your score leaf right over the earring. You can use your shift and your arrow keys to move, little, move it just a little bit and not so much because it's hard to get it to move with your mouse. So that just gives you the little tweaking that you need. And then I'm going to group them so that I'm able to move them around together. And I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna move them off to the left. And now we're gonna pull in a design that I purchased off of Etsy just so I can show you how to do that. So this is the file, what it looks like when I pull it up on my computer. The black is to cut and the blue is to score. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I saved it in my desktop. I have a laser file so I can keep everything there, keep everything organized. And then I'm gonna go back into my X tool and I'm gonna file. I wanna import the in image. Just scroll down till you find it. I have a lot of stuff in there. And that's gonna pull them in for me. And usually when you buy files, they're already set to the correct size. So if you just hover over them, I wanna change the blue to cut. And the yellow part is already on score. Okay guys, so now we have the estimated time, 12 minutes. I'm sure it's gonna take way longer than that. Um, while we're on the screen, we just wanna make sure everything's cut and the score, purple, orange, everything looks good. This one looks a little bit too close. doesn't look like it there but just to be safe I'm gonna move it over just a tad go back to process all right much better so now I'm gonna hit start which is up here I actually have a touch screen so there you go and then it's gonna tell you, do not leave the device unattended while it's working. And I'm going to press the button on the machine that is now blinking in and out. And then it's gonna start going to work. It usually does the scoring first. Sorry, there's like a huge glare. I am actually, oh, and I forgot to turn my air assist on. Now you can hear it. Don't forget to do that if you have it. It just helps blow the debris out of the way from the laser so you get a cleaner, deeper cut. All that um, reflection is I'm in my glitter storage room. I'm having a bigger art studio built. It's almost there. I keep saying it in every video I make, but it is almost there. So you can't really see much right now.
So I'm gonna come back in a few minutes when you can see a little bit more of what, what it's doing. So it scored that part of the earring, which would be this. And the difference between score and engrave, score is like an outline and engrave it would be all colored in, it would be engraved. So it does all of its scoring and engraving first and then it goes to the cutting. And then I have my exhaust, can't smell a thing. So I'm gonna push pause and I'll be back when it starts cutting. All right, so it's starting to cut. This is a 10 watt laser. It, this is three millimeter basswood, which is one eighth. It cuts through just like butter. I have tried um, a one fourth wood and it's a little harder. I couldn't get through with that one. So I stick to the one eighth. Um, people use, a lot of people use MDF. So you see how it scored the leaf, the top of the leaf and cut out the rest. So anyways, a lot of people use MDF, basswood, pine wood. There's all kinds of stuff you can use. I usually just order my wood right off of Amazon and it's the X tool basswood. This is my favorite. There's no smell. I mean, I guess I could smell a little bit of wood cutting, but it's not that bad. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it's at nine minutes and it's almost, it's just like a quarter of the way done. It's cutting the ornament. I love to just stand here and watch it cut. I'm a weirdo. I don't know if any other laser people do this. But let's see how many total minutes it takes. 16 minutes, not even halfway done yet. And I do see that I'm going to run into a problem. Where I put the earrings in the middle, it cut out the middle first. So when it goes back to cut the earring, it's not going to be in the correct spot. That's because it's on the risers and it fell through. So when I get my honeycomb hooked up, that won't be a problem anymore. Let me show you a picture of what I mean by the honeycomb. So this is the honeycomb and there will be no more risers. It's just gonna be one metal grate. That way nothing falls through. And excuse my dogs in the background wrestling. Okay guys, so we're at 38 minutes. Remember it's like 12 minutes. The timing is usually always off. We're getting there. Um, I wanna show you another thing I made today. This is a file I bought off of Etsy and I believe that I'm going to resin the background and then paint these and put them on. It's super pretty. I love it. I'm obsessed with my laser. Um, I will put the name of some of the shops that I've purchased files from so you can come take a look at their shop. We'll go take a look at their shop. I will leave those shop names in the description box. 55 minutes and we're almost done. We just have a little more to go. So that leaf, I think when it comes back to it, is not, because it's, it's offset, it fell through the risers, it's not gonna catch it right. But this one might make it because when the inside was cut, it sat perfectly on the riser. So if you're doing something like that to save space, just make sure that the riser is sitting directly under it, under that part. Two more to go. minutes guys almost done and it actually cut the earrings in the middle better than I thought it would but it said 12 minutes it took 70 the timing is always off but I'm okay with that I'm getting a lot out of it so So it's complete. 
I need to clean the laser. Um, it was a long cut. It took about 73 minutes. I'm going to turn off my air assist. I'm going to turn the laser off. And I mean, I got three, three layer ornaments out of it. A couple pair of earrings. Let me see this manger one. Um, there's also a bit of cleaning you have to do afterwards. I'm just gonna push these out, it's a little bit easier. Also, you can use these scraps if you wanna make earrings, like studs. I keep all of my scraps, I just have a pile of them down there. Um, you can see like some soot that is on the bottom. I just take some Windex. First I clean and vacuum all that out and I take some Windex and it comes right off. Okay guys, so here they are, they're layered. So I need to paint each layer and then glue them together. They are super pretty. It's a little off. And then these are the earrings that I designed. That one's a little off because I did it in the middle. And those were the ear earrings that I purchased from Etsy. So I'm gonna paint these up um, and then I'll post a video of what they look like painted. And um, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.